There we go. There we go. Switch back on. I think we on. First time. What the world? Yeah. That don't mess up now. New podcast. New podcast. What? <laughs> what? Who? Yes, that's right. Your boy said who? <laughs> Them Gant boys. Yeah, boy. What's up, my boy? What's going on? My you all right? Boy. I'm all right. I'm all right. Good. Man, how y'all doing out there in the TV world, internet world, cell phone, YouTube, Twitter, and all y'all people out there? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> hey, uh, welcome to the... Uh, we never came up with a name for you this. You know what? For right now, we're just going to call this 23 Heartbeat Podcast. Oh, it's 23 Heartbeat 24 Podcast. Goo, goo. It's already, you know, because we got the main man, the author over here, Motivator. Hey. Motivator. <laughs> Motivator. <laughs> Inspirational speaker. Oh, okay. Teacher, preacher, everything. Mr. Wow. Kent Gant Jr. Too much. Uh, two times uh, best selling author. And I said that two time best selling author. <laughs> <laughs> and uh oh yeah, man. just coming in it's, oh, man. like i said it's gonna be raw it's the first episode it's gonna be on field wait a minute we gotta introduce you too i'm so sorry yeah yeah we got we got and then we got one of the world renowned best what is it that you do <laughs> <laughs> what do you do you do like everything well, i mean i you, do you, a little you a musician a he plays music yeah. he's a designer he's uh he's the best cook i know he cooks and then he my sister's a much better cook oh man y'all know him y'all love him runny aka alex gant it's oh, your boy God. we are here <laughs> and uh man like we said first ever podcast man uh super excited we're super dope about this thing <clears throat> we're actually not in a permanent studio right now but we are working on that working towards that that's what you guys come into play we just want to get up here and see you know what I'm saying? How you guys actually respond to this and how you guys like this. And the will, that'll kind of determine where this kind of goes. And if you guys, you know what I'm saying? If you guys have a big uh, uh, output or if you guys really like what you're seeing, you know what I'm saying? You send us comments, send us things, episodes that you would like to see, uh, different things like that. And we'll be more than happy to film it for you. First ever podcast, man. Say number one with me. <laughs> one, one, one. Because when we, well, I'm telling you, when this thing starts taking off and going viral and all over the place, Definitely. like, you're going to be. We want to we wanna record and know this moment where we are right now. Right now. So next year when we in an entirely different spot, sit back here and look. Boy, these are the humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. Sitting in the but, dang living room. Yes, yeah, so sir. Bust it. Bro. Busting it out. You know, like we, I said, it's raw. It's unfiltered. We don't do anything scripted. It's pretty much, I know people watch the shop. LeBron James thing. Oh yeah, they we pretty it. much just sit up here and talk. Yeah, I mean, y'all watch that Cam Newton vegan vlog and hey, all that stuff. And I don't care that the Panthers lost today. All right. <laughs> oh it's yeah, it's okay. It's look, okay. Look, those Falcons fans lost. I was too. about to say because the Falcons lost too. And that's <laughs> all that matters. That's the Falcons lost sucker. too. <laughs> okay. I'd be like, look, we lost to the. I mean, it was the defending, not defending. I'm sorry, but they were in the Super Bowl last year. Yeah, they were. Or whatnot, and we only lost by three. Cam started off a little slow, but hey, I don't care what nobody say. Christian McCaffrey is a black man in a white boy's body. That dude <laughs> is the truth right there. He do and play. I don't care. Y'all yeah. can sleep on Cam all season. Sleep on him. Keep sleeping because he's gonna wake y'all up come playoff time. I promise. Beast mode. I, I, but, uh, I pull for Cam now. I, 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 I love me some Cam Newton. I'll, I'll Everybody, if Cam. anyone who knows me, they know. Shoot, I got a couple cousins. My nickname is Cam. They know how much I love Cam. <laughs> Cam, Cam, yeah, Cam, good guy, man. I mean, but you know your boy, my team, you know, the Patriots. You know, we got our AD over there now. So uh, now, tell me about that. How y'all gonna? How is that really gonna work? Because I mean, hey. to me, to to be honest, to me, the way that I look at it, AB went straight from, you know, oh yeah, Big Ben did all this crap, thought behind my back, we ain't friends, blah 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 blah, and then he wants to go to this new girl, Oakland Raiders, sit up here and want to talk about, you know. Oh, I'm for the team. I'm for the team. I'm gonna be disciplining people. I'm gonna be the one finding people. I'm doing all this, and then he gonna turn around and act like a jackass and pretty much force his way out. And now he even you know, went to a new girl for less money. You really think he gonna change just because it's Bill Belichick? I mean, how y'all gonna deal with it's it's AB. It's still AB. It's still him. I mean, Tom ain't gonna fool with that. Tom just ain't gonna throw in the ball. <laughs> I mean, but then. Well, I don't know. How 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 is that going to work? Uh, it's just a one year deal, one year deal, and uh, you know, he's in and out. We just we just here to see how it goes. And hey, get your money while you can, man, because it ain't always going to be there. So 
Yeah, just a one year deal. We we try it out, see what he does. He just want to get a ring this year. That's what I think. I he think I think he really want to get a ring. He so he comes to it. Time. He comes to a team that known for getting rings. So you know, Tom and my boy, uh, Son of Michelle, all them boy. They finna make sure that this man get a ring. We get rid of Grunk. I don't know. Well, you know he he retired. He gonna be back. Yeah. I don't think he retired. Gone. Like he, gonna be he back really didn't retire. Just to let y'all know, he, he retired, back. but he's back, back on the. I already know he gonna be I back. I called that man. That man, he gonna be back. I was promise you. Grump better come yeah. back. That joker six foot something, man. Seven or eight, and we need him back, bro. He catching balls over little guys, so we need him back. Crazy. I really think though, AB probably while he was on Oakland, his agent was calling <laughs> Bill Belichick. And saying, hey, Bill was like, hey, look, bro, I promise you, all you got to do, act like a fool. <laughs> act like a fool. That's all you got to do. I promise you. You get out, you get, they'll release you. John Gruden ain't going to want to coach you. He's going to get out. I promise you, we'll get you for the minimum. We'll make sure you get your – he still has the potential to make $15 million in this one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15, he yeah. should be able to make it three. Yeah. No, nah, they got a chance to make 15. That don't. I don't know. Hey. I mean, it's going to be interesting. I just think that, for some reason, as many people that want Tom Brady to lose, <laughs> why does NFL always manage to make it so he gets all these good players? He got Randy Moss that one year that they almost went undefeated, and, you know, that was off of him getting, you know, kicked out of Minnesota and jumped pretty much. Now you got A.B. I mean, come on, bro. Like, how many good players in their career? I mean, because I look, A.B., if, if he does good for the Patriots, he ain't going nowhere. He gonna stay. He gonna come back. Belichick gonna give him another chip. And he gonna come back and stay. And I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's gonna be interesting to see. We breed good players. We want to win. I mean, and I, if you want to win, Falcon fans, you will jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> that's, that's what I gotta say for y'all. Yeah, so you know, you can't get me started on the Georgia team. Oh you know, man, Georgia you know team. me. Period. Like, uh, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm glad. I love Georgia itself. Yeah, as in Georgia the state. Yeah, Georgia State, you guys are fantastic. I can go out to the there. country, I can go to the ocean, yeah. I can go to the city. It's like Any Georgia. Yeah, Georgia part. is like the only state you can experience sunshine, rain, <laughs> snow, snow. Yeah. and all, all in the same all day. All in the same really day. Like, it's the only place Plus ever. The teams. Oh, man. What gets me, Rob, the most. Like I say, I don't care. I stick with, with my teams no matter how sorry they're going to be, period. I love Auburn. You're a, Georgia, I, you're a Georgia Tech fan. I'm Just, not a Georgia Tech fan. You've never been a Georgia Tech never fan? Been a Georgia you look like you might have been a Georgia Tech fan nah. one day. I got a couple friends that Georgia Tech fans. <laughs> <in Georgia. laughs> I told you. But uh, <laughs> me, Georgia Tech, I don't dislike Georgia Tech. But I don't like I don't, Georgia I don't, I don't like Georgia Tech. What? They don't do it. Honestly, I, they got a football team. I didn't. Yeah, they got it. I didn't really know. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. They got a football team, right? They. I, I do know one of the kickers. Well, he used to be a kicker for Georgia Tech. Durant, the uh, only guy I know, first name, famous, last name, Durant, Durant. So, wow. yeah, I remember him. Hey, hey, Durant, if you're watching him. Miss Luann, that's his mother. How you doing? Okay. I, I, know the, I know the family. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. He got a nice bonus deal when he went to the NFL for that one year. Hey, tweaked his, tweaked his leg and now he's out of there. But hey, man, you did what you had. I'm about to say, he made it to the NFL. Gun yeah. hole. No <laughs> yeah. I ain't, I ain't making it to the NFL. <laughs> I didn't make it to the NFL either. Like, Shoot, hey, we, we, we're here yeah, yeah. We're making this podcast for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, with that, I mean, I don't know. The Georgia fans, I, I guess the thing that trips me out the most is they're the fans with the biggest egos about how great their team is, how good everything is. We're the. We're the we're the best. We do all this, but y'all ain't got nothing to show for it. Never. There's nothing, nothing to show. It's for. always like the big letdown. Big <clears> letdown. The big letdown. I'm gonna tell you about them Falcons. Oh my goodness. I used to be a Falcons fan. Never. But I had to leave y'all alone. This was back in like 1997 when y'all went to the Dang. Super Bowl. I'm gonna tell you how bad it was. It was the winner of '97, and y'all was in the Super Bowl against. John Elway, number seven, when he repped that number seven jersey for the Denver Broncos. i never forget that game. I was a kid, like, yay high. And y'all let me down for the last time. I remember that, yeah, John. That was, that, that was when the Falcons, before Falcons had red in their jersey. I was about to say it was that. Like the, like that was the Chris black. Chris Anderson. Yeah, I think, that, was that, that, black and, that was the black and white Falcons, bro. I will never forget that in my life. And and uh, we, we was winning, and then, like, 
I don't even know. Like John Elway put together like some type of run, some type of O and out thing. I don't know what he did, but they ended up losing. And ever since then, I was like, you know what, bro? I'm happy Denver won because they deserve to win because the Falcons absolutely just messed this game up. Y'all see my look? I almost said something up. They just messed this game up so bad. I'll never again choose the Falcons. And ever since then, the Falcons have put a bad taste in my mouth, and I never went back. Even when, even when they had Mike Vick, Michael Vick as the quarterback, I promise you, like, yeah, I knew it was something wrong with that man. All them, all them dog fights, <laughs> all them dog fights. Right? Uh, he was learning how to run so he, fast on the football field. Exactly. Yeah. He was, he was, y'all know, <laughs> now I would tell, I would say this, that when y'all had Michael Vick as y'all quarterback, it was no Julio Jones. Who the, who the man had to throw the ball to? He didn't really have no receivers. That's so true. You, that's why this quarterback had to run more than throw the ball. I ain't that's never true. seen an NFL quarterback. He ran play. more yards than some running backs. And he had more. He averaged more yards than the running backs did. And I'm like, help this man. No wonder. See, that's Georgia gonna let you down every time. It's just like the man in the in the casket. He said for his last wish before he died. He said his last wish was to please, please. <laughs> He said, please let him let them play the game at his funeral. And the man actually died. And they said, Why did he they asked his wife, why did you want why did he want to play the game at the funeral? Mm-hmm. He said, So they can let me down one more time. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> God. So Georgia can, for the Falcons can let me down just one, one more time. time. And they let him down, they let the casket down as soon as they said as soon as George uh the the Falcons lost, as soon as they lost. So yeah, he was right. Yeah, no, nah, I can't, I can't do it. None of them. Georgia Bulldogs, hella overrated. Ooh, Lord, I don't care what nobody says. Kirby said. Sparks, look, Kirby look, Sparks, this is Kirby the thing. And Sparks. I think, I think it's the Kirby fans. Sparks. The fans are the ones that piss me off the most because they all I hear is excuses. Anytime, anytime y'all lose, oh the ref, he ain't called that flag. Oh, you know that was holding over here. Oh, that was pass interference on the last play. Oh, it was this, 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 and this. Mm. It was never, nah, your boy just didn't catch the ball. Nah, he just overthrew him. Nah, he just didn't run the right route. Nah, he just got hit as he threw. Ooh. No, it's always an excuse. Someone else caused y'all to lose. Excuse. And then, y'all get, I don't